when Chris the Mad Dog Russo recently declared Hall of Famer Shaquille O'Neal only the fifth best center in NBA history. Shaq what? is what? The fifth best center in the history of the NBA? What? Fifth. fifth. What? Shaq wasn't having it. O'Neal's first reaction to the clip was to ask about Mad Dog. Now do this. Who is that? Shaq is Chris Russo. What? The Who the fuck is that? And the second was. I'm the most dominant center ever. I don't ever want to hear another name again. In this video, we're going to hear the ridiculous take by Mad Dog. And then we're going to hear the full response by Shaq. Even the part where he threatens violence. Because let's just get it straight. I will smack the shit out of that dude. <laughs> so if you end up liking this video, please hit the like button. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe for more of my videos. Okay, let's jump straight to the clip where Mad Dog states that Shaquille O'Neal is only the fifth best center in NBA history. And please enjoy, like I did, Stephen A and Jay Williams' reaction to this ridiculous take. First off, we gotta hear Shaq now do this. Shaq what? is, what, the fifth best center in the history of the NBA? What? Fifth. Fifth. What? what? Shaq. What do you mean, what? Well, who, who's Sha the four what? ahead of Shaquille O'Neal? Have like you name, lost you, your you damn mind? You? What? You want me Just to name sure, him? Just sure, go ahead. Kareem. Go ahead. Kareem. Okay. Yeah. Will. No. Uh, I'm oh not giving it to Will. God, no, you guys are crazy. No. I'm not giving it to Will. No. You're not I'm not. Put Will Chamberlain, who averaged 50 points a game and scored Wait, who was a game foot in 30 taller, minutes. Who was a you're foot nuts. taller than 99% of the league? Oh, yeah, the most nuts. dominant player in NBA history. Who was stopping Shaquille O'Neal in who, any era? And who's uh, Tim who? Duncan is better than in, he is. In, Tim Duncan's better. And well, I tell you something, two other guys. That's not a center. Tim Duncan's Well, Elijah Wan is better. We'll beat him four two straight games. Two-time champion of Shaq's four. Shaq's no four. scoring titles to Shaq's two. What are you talking about? And I'll tell you on, somebody man. else who's better. You can live where you want. I love Akeem, but he wants Shaq. Oh, he's a better player than Shaq. Oh, God, he's better. Uh, can, uh, well, oh, he killed me, first off. He played wait, Shaq and beat him four straight games. Define me better player. Tell me what better player means to you, doggy. I'm waiting for the definition, please. Okay, first off, who did Shaq beat in the NBA final in the pivot? It's not about who you beat. Oh, yes, it is. He beat Jason Collins, Rick Smith, and who, did, who was Philly's the center? Matumbo. And I'll tell you right now. The Kemba and Matumbo. Than, he's not better than Moses Malone. What? There's no chance. Don't give me that Oh, what? my Lord, why are you no allowed way. to talk basketball? Why he, he, I love Moses Malone. Elite you think, rebounder. You think Shaq? Oxygen. You think Shaq? They, they, Malone, Moses Malone, Malone was not Shaq. Help. Not a chance. And he was great, but he wasn't Shaq. Help, Lord. Malone led the league in rebounding help. six oh, so consecutive what? years. Help so what? He won two MVPs. So he averaged. Oh, you're nuts. Shaq. Here's a question for you. What oh, did Malone Lord. do with a bunch of cast-offs against Bird, Parrish, and McHale? In the 81 who? finals. Who? I looked who? it up today. 31 and a half and 17 rebounds. Nobody has said Moses Malone in their history. Is a Hall of Famer. Moses Malone is a Hall of Famer. Famer. In all the NBA finals, 37 and 15. What? You're, I'm putting right. you on punishment from talking basketball on this show for a week. You're, you're not crazy. allowed. You're, <laughs> you're not allowed. You're you're you are crazy. You are and one other thing. I, I can't take anything he says one seriously other thing. anymore. Malone was on the probably top three or four teams, anchored it, in the history of the Malone NBA. Malone was great. The 82, Malone 83 was Sixers great. were an all-time classic team. Moses Malone. Okay, listen. Moses Malone was phenomenal. Okay, Moses Malone uh, I'm was enjoying phenomenal. this history he was lesson, Shaq. but I got to go. You're we're up on the ball. You're telling me Shaq's not, you're telling you're not, not, you're telling I'm, I'm not the most you. dominant I'm players who ever played a game. He didn't have the centers that these other guys played up against. Kareem's playing against great centers. The big silver. Coming up on a fresh round with the Dolphins. Russell. You guys are crazy. Oh, my God. I don't even have Shaq in my top 10. You may continue. That's not an easy watch. So, Russo had Kareem, Wilk, Hakeem, and Moses Malone ahead of O'Neal. First of all, do you agree with Chris Russo on this? Let me know where you have Shaq ranked among the all-time centers down below. Okay, so let's now see how Shaq responds. Okay, so I've programmed myself. Because let's just get it. Straight, I will smack the shit out of that dude. But let's let's get off that because I can't be on that on corporate. So to get me off that, I have to learn how to see if there's some truth in the criticism. Mm. I disagree. However, Kareem, yes, Wilt only because he has more points than me. And that's the only thing about that upsets me about my career. Missed 250 games right at 25. That's another 5,000 points. That would have put me past Wilt. Miss a shitload of free throws, that would have put me past Wilt. So because he has more points, 
I'll let that slide. But I wanted to pass him up. So I was going to boastfully and arrogantly say, I'm the most dominant center ever. I don't ever want to hear another name again. Okay, so so that would put me at number three. I passed Hakeem Olajuwon up. The king beat me. I came back and beat him. Most was long. I passed him up four, five, six years ago before I retired. So me, I will put myself at number three. Uh, criticism and stories don't bother me because if you look at the reality of the situation, high school undefeated, LSU statue retired jersey, Orlando Magic about to be the first retired jersey, LA retired jersey statue. I did my thing. Mm. So when people like that, when they say certain things, I don't. You just said with when you were comparing yourself to Will, you used points, but. I just can't get out of my head like my phrase I always say is if the aliens came down and we had to send one human to battle them, I'm sending Shaquille O'Neal. And so I think that if you went up against Wilt, oh, if barbed. we're not looking at stats. I'm going to bust him and Kareem mess. Right. And, and then, but what I like about these conversations is there's so many questions. What era are we playing in? What rules? Right. Young Shaq, old Shaq. Well, like, this, Which this, Shaq would you... Pick Orlando Shaq because he was he had it all, but he just didn't have the discipline to know how to win. <laughs> just to wrap up that, yeah. If if you could say one thing to that commentator, Chris I, Russo, I, what I, would you say? I don't. No, you I would. Mean, you would just leave it alone. Listen, man, I'm 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 50 years old. I survived all the rah rah, and then what can I do about it? Can't do nothing about it. Like, if I wanted to do what I wanted to do, that's going to jeopardize the Shihuka Empire. So, he said what he said. Since you're not going to do it, we can pretend. Like, what would you do? Would it be a backhand? Would it be an uppercut? Would you pick him up, choke slam him like Undertaker? Uh -huh. What would the move be? No, it, it, it'll be just a smack. Just a Yeah. I, I, I would just come up to him and be like, what'd you say? And I don't care what. It, anything come out of his mouth is just going to be, wow. Wow. Yeah, I don't what, care. Yeah, yeah, wow. But no, he's. Listen, it's all entertainment. We don't condone violence. And hold on, Tim Duncan ain't no sinner. A lot of people are trying to do that shit lately. No, 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 I ain't letting that shit ride. He's great. You were up against nah, David nah. Robinson. No, that's what my that's my point. He, he's a power forward. Keep him over there. Don't even try it, people. So O'Neal, the 15-time All-Star and four-time NBA champion, considers himself to boast a better resume than Malone and Elijah Wan. For me, Shaq is the most dominant and overpowering player that I've ever seen, who constantly dominated anybody on his way to four championships. But historically among centers, I would rank him third, behind Kareem and Bill Russell. For some reason, Russell was omitted from this entire conversation. The man has 11 rings as a player, and the league named the finals MVP in his honor because he dominated on the big stage year in, year out. Then rounding out my list is Hakeem, who holds a special place in my heart, and then Wilt. What do you think of my rankings? Do you guys agree? Let me know in the comments below. All right guys, that wraps up for today's video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. That really helps this video out. If you like this type of content, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. What the fuck is that? <laughs>